Hi everyone, welcome back to my take. Today I want to show you how I did my referencing at university for my dissertation, my thesis, etc. All my assignments basically since the first year of my undergraduate degree. I used EndNote, which is open here. I used my EndnoteWeb.com. Um, I didn't use the downloadable option for the desktop because I just found I didn't need to use that. I found it easier to save space and time by just using the online software. So some people still manually put in their referencing and I just think it's so much easier. It saves a ton of time if you use an online software like EndNote, Zotero or Mentally. I do have these other ones open just to show you how they look. Zotero there and Mentally, but I don't have any experience of using those. So I'm going to only concentrate on EndNote today uh, for the most part. So you need to start by registering, of course, um, online. Once you've done that, you then need to install the plugin. To do that, you click on Format. Um, and you click on the site while you write plugin. Uh, when you click on that, you can click on the installation instructions also um, for your Windows or Mac, and it will open up this page. It's quite easy to follow and it's quite easy to install, so hopefully you won't have problems with that. Uh, once that is done, I was just practicing earlier, so that's why I've got all this open. Uh, once you've done that, you click on EndNote, the EndNote tab here, and you should find this in Word uh, once you finish installing. So I'll come back to this later so I can show you how to insert references. So back to OneNote. Um, as you can see, I've got all my references here on the left and organized into various groups. Um, this is eight years worth of organization. Actually, it doesn't seem like a lot, actually, <laughs> given that it's eight years worth. But um, yeah, that's that's all my reference thing there. I found that in the final year of my PhD, uh, the number of papers that I need to keep coming back to. So, for example, the trans transcriptomic analysis group that I've got here has got six papers in it, and I had to keep coming back to this one. So that's why I created a new group there. So how did I collect them? First of all, you need to collect your references to be able to organize them and to um, cite them in Word, obviously. So I'm going to click on the co collect tab, go on online search. And then click on the appropriate database. For me, that was PubMed because um, that's the one that has the science and medicine articles uh, within it. So I'm going to click on connect now. And then I'm going to, just to give you an example, type in stem cells, uh, tendon into the search boxes. Then using the drop down menu, you can click on um, which category you want those words to be in. So for me, that's title. I want these words to appear in the titles of the search results, but you can also choose from um, various others like year, author. So if you do want to narrow down your search, you can always come back to this page and add in another keyword and then choose another, uh, choose something else from the drop down menu to narrow it down. So by searching these keywords, um, I will get around, let's see how many references I get. So I get 192 references. Um, this might be too much. So I'm going to go back to title. Click on title to get back to this search page. And because I use title here from the drop down menu, that's why. If, it, if you chose author, then you'll click on author, etc. So here I'm now going to add another word. So I'm going to add in an author. Butler and click author from the drop down menu, click search again and hopefully this will narrow it down and it has done, it's narrowed it down to five results. So if I now want to add this to my collection of references, um, I would then click on the first result, whichever result I want, you can click on a number, you can choose one, three, four, how many you want and click on add to group. Here you will want to create a group, so you click on new group. Or you could add to existing groups if you've already created some groups there. So I'm going to type here uh, example. Click on OK. And you will see that I now have a new group there, uh, example, and it has two references and it says two in brackets. If I click on that, you should find those references here. Wonderful. OK, so now what we need to do is once we have the references in here, we want to um, put them into our Word document. So I'm going to click on Insert Citation. 
type in Butler and you can type in any keyword. Um, it doesn't have to be the author name, but I just find it easier because um, it usually narrows it down quite a bit when I search it here. Uh, but you can type down any keyword from your article. So I'm going to click on this one. I don't remember if that's the article that I added, but anyway, it's there. So I'm going to click on that as an example. And as you can see, it's added the, the citation um, here within the text. This would be within the text because I would uh, type in the text around it. And at the end, it would add this uh, reference to the end of your documents. So your references will always come at the end of your document. This list will always come at the end. It doesn't matter how much writing you have preceding. Um, they will always come at the end of your document. So, and you can add the citation in between a sentence or wherever you want it to be. So, for example, if I just I've clicked there in between a sentence and I'm now going to insert another one. So I'm going to choose this one here just to show you. And as you can see, it's inserted another reference and it's also um, listed it in alphabetical order at the end. So that's how you do that here. You can also choose output style if you want to change that. You click on this arrow and you can change that. So I'm going to select Vancouver from the menu and click OK. And as you can see, that's changed that for you. So now if we go back to, you can obviously undo that. You can um, change it back to Harvard if you wanted to. So I'm going to change it back to Harvard. I also could have pressed undo. I'm sure that would have done the same. <laughs> but anyway, let's go back to, um, back to this. Now, another thing you can do is um, you can find your duplicates. Because when you're collecting lots of references, you might collect the same one again um, and you might want to get rid of those so that you're not um, inserting too many extra references just to keep things a bit more organised. And there we go. Now I've got rid of those unnecessary duplicates. Uh, I have experienced some problems with EndNote. Um, I remember a few times um, I've had issues where, for example, I've had to keep on typing my email address and my password every time I wanted to insert a new citation within the text so, um, of Word. So that, could, that was a problem for a while. But overall, it saves so much time and effort and it's really worth using an online software for your referencing. It saves a lot of pain, trust me. So do try and use this software if you can. Um, if you do find that you can't find references uh, through the online search, then it might be worth using a website such as this one, www.citethisforme.com. And if you have a book or a website that you want to reference, then you can click on either one of these. So I'm going to type in a random, I'm going to type in some random search terms, endocrinology. Click search, and here we have some books. So, say if I was looking for this one, I'll click on that, and then you can copy and paste the in text citation and the bibliography citation separately. Um, so, I'm going to copy and paste the in text citation first, close that. Um, there we go, that's my in text citation. Come back to the copy and paste bibliography citation. And now we can go into Word and paste that. And there it is. Now you can see there's a slight difference between uh, the format here because the author names here are capitalized, whereas the one that I just copied, um, you know, the author names there are not. So you can change that manually. Um, I have actually selected Harvard as a citation style here. So the citation style of both are the same, but there can be slight differences like that between different software. Um, so what I found was um, I actually put all my EndNote references first, and then I did these other references from the second website after at the end, and I inserted them where they were supposed to be in alphabetical order. Um, and whoops, not like that. <laughs> so I inserted them after wherever they're supposed to be, then changed the format of the author so that they're all capitalized also.
so yes this is how I did my reference thing um, I hope this video has helped you if it has please do give it a thumbs up please do share with others so that it can help others also and if you'd like to see more videos from me then please hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified of more of my videos in the future so I hope to see you soon uh, see you in the next video take care bye